welcome to this lecture so in the previous lecture we saw how we are interacting with the client and we see how this is message printed in our console so now let's see how we can just make the message to be printed on the client so basically we'll just give the command from the server to the client to execute some instructions in the client so let's do that so first of all what you need to do is in this connection where we have just uh, let's go to the main menu first and you can see that this is the way to interact or select the connection so after we just get the connection let's check if this connection is uh, none or not so if it is not none that means there is a connection there is a connection between the server and a the client then we'll just make one function which will send the commands so let's make that send command method now so let's go after this select connection before this multi-threading part and uh, that command was or that function was send command function so let's see if it was a send commands so let's go over here again and uh, obviously it was send commands so now what you need to do in the send command is you will just make a way in order to send that command to the client so first of all i'll just say while true that is to give the infinite loop that is to run this code again and again and i'll get the choice first from the user and that will be input so i'll just give some format that is first of all the new line and now i will just say that type selection so what you want to perform so this will be the message to the user and based on that we'll just do some operations so first of all i'll just check okay first of all if that string choice that is given or that is inputted by the user is the message so if it is dash dash yum which represents the message so we are just uh, making that if that is message or not so let's first of all slice that so that the message or if user mistakenly type any something wrong that will be sliced first so let's slice this first so what we are going to do is from beginning we want these three characters that is basically from zero to two characters and if that is yum or that is dash dash yum and length of that command and in this we'll be having the string choice obviously that is interpreted by the user is greater than three why this is needed because we have to also send the message so we are checking if this is length 3 or not so if it is only dash dash m that is not going to work so this is going to show us something like let me just give an example over here so it should only accept this command so that should be dash dash m and there should be some messages so let me say hello then this is only valid if you just type only dash dash m then it is not going to be valid because we have this end statement and in the case of end statement both of these conditions should be true and this is not the case because the length of this command is only three not greater than three that means we have to also pass some message with it so let's go here and after we just see this command let me say something like let me just get that message first because we have to send that message back to the client so in order to do that we have to just first take this identifier so this message will represent that if this is message or not so we'll just send this message that is sent by the user with this msg identifier and now i'll just get the string that is choice and after that everything that is after this dash dash m will be our masses so that is basically striping over here so it should be something like dash dash m and hello will be our masses then this will contain hello so this string choice will contain only hello because we have just removed this dash dash m over here so next thing is we have to now send this so we have the send method that was lambda function we created early in the lecture so first of all if you want to send to the client it should be encoded and let's encode this string masses first so str masses should be this masses so now we have successfully sent the masses to the client now let's go back to the client and we have sent the masses and obviously now 
before that you can see that there is a type selection and okay so let's go over here and in the windows what we're gonna do is basically this is our backdoor.py in this client and let's see how we are just going to implement that so first of all we'll just go to this while true because this is where you have to see this command and now we'll just check if i'll just say elif and the data that is sent because if you see here this receive is going to receive the data from the server and i'll just see that if the data that is received is basically decoded over here and after the decoding technique if the message sent we'll just slice that part and if that is msg okay is msg so if you see here what we just did then you will have the idea what this msg is about so if you just see in this server side i have sent the message with this msg as identifier so this is going to just track that if that is message or not that is the logic over here we are just checking if that is message and if that is the case then we'll just call some method over here so we haven't created this message box but we'll just create that and that will get the string and here the string will be string data obviously the data that is sent by the user with this dash 3 which is basically after the dash dash em command so let's make this message box now so we'll just make this message box right after maybe server connect uh, right here so let's see and i'll just uh, first of all define this message box and this is the method so this will get the message that is uh, basically sent by the server so we'll just get that message let me give the tab now here what you need to do is we'll just make use of that vvs in order to create the prompt box so we'll just make use of this vvs and here I have to first open the file so in order to open it we have this uh, open and we'll just open this temp and basically we have to concatenate it and now what you're gonna do is we'll just say that we want that message to be in this m dot vbs so this will be where this message and the next thing what i want is it should be written over there which is with this right command so you could see here we just made a command which will create a box with the message and now let's write that message to that box so this will be our object of vvs and here we can use this write method in order to write and that will be let me say first will be message box should be this message box sorry for typos two is just close this message box for now okay and after that i want to just concatenate this with message that is sent by the server and now what i want to do is the connection with maybe let me just concatenate with this vb okay i, I think we have something like this okay only so this is the command basically it is uh, nothing to just remember it is only the command to create some of these uh, uh, boxes and we'll just pass that in the vv information and uh, now it's time to add it with or concatenate with the vv system model so this is the system that is going to give us the prompt and now next thing i want to do is uh, basically the message so let's see how we can do that so next thing okay after this i'll just maybe i'll just close this sentence or maybe we can just write one more message over here and let's close this first and after that we'll just close this one and this will be our message let's go back here and now next thing what i want to do here is we have to close that object which is the vvs object so let me just uh, close this and now the main important thing here is to run this command so if you want to run this command there is sub process 
which is the module that is going to do it so we have a bunch of stops or bunch of method in the sub process you can see the check output or you can see the call method but now we are going to run the process that means we have to use this p open method so this is going to create us a process in order to just execute this command so here what you're going to do is we'll just type some of these cs script and now after this we have to now add it with temp file and let's concatenate this with our vvs and in this case our vvs is m.vvs and now let's close this first and you should make this cell to be true because we want to run this in the cell so let's close this now so we have created our message box so you can test it now so what you need to do is simply see over here that is we have called this message box right here so this message box will be called now let's execute it so before uh, here you can see that i have made some changes that this part was a string but not uh, it was not some variable so you can simply remove this also but uh, it doesn't really matter so you can also get this source code from the resource section and basically what happened here is we are just using this vvs message box to print our information so you are just calling here that is a message box with that message let me save this here and let's go first to our Kali machine which is running this uh, listener and uh, this is the code that we have written before so let me just run this okay we have just tossed the back door so let me just uh, remove this again and uh, let's go and run this one more time run the back door and it will keep on listening now on the port 444 let's go back to our windows machine now what you need to do is you have to first of all okay i just close it so first of all i'll just close uh, this notepad plus plus let me just run this cmd let me just navigate to the folder and now if i say dir i have this backdoor.py which is our file right here and now i have to use this python command and i'll just say backdoor.py if I hit enter, it will just now good. Let's go back to our Kali Linux and it will say that connection has established. You can list the connection, then this is your IP address, PC name, and everything. And now, if I just interact with this zero that is this ID, and you can see we have done this from here, which is selecting this connection from here. And uh, if I just pass this uh, select O then it will say type connection now or type selection so that was because of this menu selection so you can see in this main menu we have told now if there is a connection that means if connection is not known that means we'll just execute the send command method so let's go to the send command and this send command has okay where is send command that must be somewhere here okay seriously where is sort select commands select connection okay it is here send commands will just uh, say that it will just input the type selection which is right here and we can input now everything in this type selection but we have only one command in this send command now which you can see here that is dash dash yum command which is going to give us a vps message box so let's see if i just type here dash dash yum and the message that i have to send here is uh, any message so let me say i want to send um, hey so if i just hit enter now if i just hit enter and it will just give another pop out which is saying type selection because this is a continuous loop let's go back to our machine which is window machine this is our window machine and you could see we have this vvs box saying message so this is the first command that we are executing you can do a multiple time let's go over here again and again if i type um hey hello world or something like this let me just hit enter again you'll just go back and uh, you can see the masses yet again